Hello there everybody, it's Mark Watson here again. Uh, I just wanted to give my personal views on the inauguration of Donald Trump, which is happening today. I, like many people I'm sure, many millions are wa watching it, I'm watching it from the UK. Personally, I think it's the best thing that could have happened for America. Um, Barack Obama, to those of us who could see it, eventually exposed himself to us for what he was. He was a terror of supporting scumbag. With Donald Trump in the Oval Office, you are going to get a pair patriot who cares about the country. Um, it's also proved again that um, the fear to hacked picks are not working. It didn't work. It's not worked uh, for a while now, despite what the leftists will try and tell you. And it just goes to show the rise in patriotism across the world. We had it in Brexit here in the UK as well. The true patriots are of the country is are fighting back. They want to get their countries back to as they were. Um, Donald Trump will make America great again, in my opinion. He will reinstall its quick history and values. And I think it's the best thing that could have ha happened for him. It's proving that the uh, fear tactics aren't working. This is what the leftists always go off of, because they uh, seem to be incapable of making their own thought. The way I, I see it is um, if you don't listen to the Operation Fear Tactics, the, and usually you tend to be more, more rounded in your mind. Personally, as I said, I think this is going to be a great opportunity for America to make, make itself great again. Barack Obama was officially voted the worst American president ever. And as I said, he exposed himself for what he was in the end. For those of us who could see it, he was a terrorist scumbag. We've now got a true American patriot in the White House, and that is what's needed. This is a new time for America. So, Donald Trump, certainly here from the UK, if you ever see this, good luck and welcome, Mr. President. It's nice to ha have a true... Who patriot behind your country again?